Hey y'all, it's your girl Lee Chanel, but today I'm doing something different. I'm doing a podcast. So this is episode one, right? And we got a couple of topics. Like I don't know if I want to talk about like all of them that I got, but we just gonna do it. So boom. For real, for real, it's a new year and stuff like that. And like I just feel like toxic things in society is acceptable, like like toxic behavior just like toxic mindsets just like not taking accountability like things like that like relationships let's talk about relationships oh my god <clears throat> so people my age i'm 18 so people my age they really just be like be having commitment like issues but like that's just my opinion so all of this is just my opinion it's not you no know, facts behind it it's just my opinion so People my age really be having commitment issues. Like, I feel like nobody really wants to settle down. Like, everybody just doing them because we all young, like, you know. But it is people out here that's really ready to be committed to one person and one person only. But in our generation, a lot of things are accepted that shouldn't be, like, cheating lying being sneaky like all this stuff been around for years and years and years and years and years but in my generation i feel like it's worse like people my age really don't be caring everybody just like young and turned like that's how everybody is well not everybody but 50 percent of these people in my generation is like that but <clears throat> it also comes from like your upbringing like if you if you come from a family that's like toxic and things like that later in life you're gonna be like that you're gonna be toxic like you're gonna have problems but that's for anybody though you could develop them kind of problems all throughout life it just doesn't come from your upbringing but nine nine times out of ten it does so that leads me to like the next topic i want to talk about um let's see manipulation let's talk about manipulation like this all ties it together and it's so crazy manipulation is crazy because when somebody manipulates you they want you to feel like damn like they right the whole time they know they're not right they just wrong but manipulation is just like sometimes we don't realize we being manipulative you know sometimes we just like just do it but I feel like it's some type of, like, defense mechanism. Like, you only get man- manipulative. That's how you say it, manipulative, when you know it's something on the line. Like, if you if you have to manipulate people to get your way, that's just toxic. And you know what you're doing. Like, people who manipulate, no, I can't say that. Because that, then that's contradicting what I just said. Okay. fifty. It's a 50%. Damn, I can't talk. It's a 50% chance that you're manipulating unintentionally but the other half you're doing it intentionally so i don't really have too much to say about manipulation because i don't really manipulate people but it is a lot of people who manipulate other people in this world and we know that (laughs) but me personally i don't manipulate people so i can't really i don't have too much to say about it but cheating i'm talking about cheating 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 now me personally I only cheat when somebody cheat on me. So, I'm a cheater only when you cheat, basically. And I, I know some people be like, oh, you could just walk away. You know, you don't got to get your leg back, this, this, and this. Well, the old me, I wouldn't say the me right now, but the old me will literally do everything you do to me. And you will never find out either. I'm sneaky. But... Cheating is just crazy. It's just so many, like, um, parts of cheating. Like, I want to know what everybody else definite what girl's definition of cheating is. Like, for me, <clears throat> cheating is when, like, you get attached, like, physically, emotionally. What? I can't talk. Physically, emotionally attached to somebody else. Like, I don't know. I don't really think too much about cheating because, yeah.
I'm gonna date. I really don't be dating people. <clears throat> the last time I was in a relationship, like a real relationship, was like like October 2021, or was it 2022? I don't know. Whenever me and my ex was together. <laughs> That was my last relationship. But any so-called quote-unquote relationship after that wasn't serious. I know for a fact it wasn't. But I don't go, I don't, I don't know. I don't date people. I don't like dating people. Because this is off topic, but kind of on topic. Like some things I learned. Uh, Number one, don't ever date when you broke. Like, I don't have a problem if my significant other is broke. But rule number one, don't date while you broke. It's just going to be hard. Like, if your partner want to go out and do stuff, you're not, you're not going to be able to because you're broke. You know? <clears throat> rule number two, don't date if you insecure, jealous, or if you, you just ain't got your, your stuff together. You can't be out here obsessing over the littlest stuff. Like you can't be out here starting arguments over little stuff. Number three, don't date until you got a good mindset. Not just on yourself, but just in life in general. Like you gotta have a good mindset or it's never gonna work out. <clears throat> that go for relationships, friendships, anything. It's not just relationship wise, but So, boom, the big question of the night is, would y'all date somebody that's broke? <clears throat> now, like I said, I don't have a problem with dating somebody that's broke. I don't even like to use the word broke. I just would say financially unstable. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it because it's like I could teach you a couple things, you know? It's all a learning process. Like, sometimes people don't be independent. And I might sound weird, but, like, it's real. Like, not everybody is independent, especially at 18, 19, damn near pushing 20. Like, everybody not independent. Everybody ain't got it the same. Everybody pockets don't look like everybody else pockets. Like, don't let social media fool you. You know, people might be up at 18 and you still broke at 21. And that's perfectly fine. Like, everybody's life is literally different from the mindset from the upbringings, all that. So, I don't really have a problem with broke people. Like, I feel like everybody been broke or still is broke. It's nothing wrong with being broke to an extent. Like, you, if you just not trying to make a way for yourself, like, if you're not trying to get up and go get it and, you know, just try, then that's a problem. That's a whole different story. But it's two sides of being broke. Trying to, just sit on your ass all day and don't do nothing. Boom. The other side is trying to get up and go get it. Like, whether you got your own business, whether you're trying to get a job, whether you just making side money, whatever it is, just be up. Don't be down. Because the longer you stay down, is the longer you're going to be down. But the more you try and stuff like that, the more it's going to come together. But... Instead of dreaming it and having a, an idea of it, just do it. So it doesn't have to be an idea. It could be reality. So, yeah. Motivational quote. Boom. Right there, y'all. Clip that and say that. Save that in your phone <laughs> to use as motivation. But not. this is just episode one of the podcast. We got to come up with the name of the podcast. But this is me rambling about nothing. I'm probably going to drop it tomorrow because it's too late now. It's 11.35 at night. <clears throat> but I just wanted to try something new. And, like, obviously, like, down the line, I could have people come on my podcast and we could talk. And then further, further down the line, I'm going to get my camera and I'm going to record it so, like, you could see us talking instead of just not having no video, just audio. You feel me? I'd rather watch a podcast than listen to a podcast. But everybody different. But, um... Either I'm going to drop my podcast on YouTube because I'm not sure how to post on the actual podcast or I just might post on like a podcast website, which I really don't want to do, but I'm going to figure it out. 
I don't want to wrap it up because, like, the podcast ain't going to be that long. It's only going to be, like, a couple minutes. But then again, I, I don't want to make it too long because everybody ain't going to listen to the whole thing. But, yeah, this is just episode one. Trial and error. Trying to get it right. Trying to see how I feel type time. You know? So, I hope you enjoy episode one of me just talking about nothing. <laughs> but, yeah. Leave Chanel out. We're going to see y'all in episode two. And we might have a special guest. We might not. So, you just got to stick around and see. (laughs) Bye, y'all.